Okay, so you've got the tree card over here. So you could be dealing with some issues that involve family or home. Uh, it could even be issues that are involve your um, health as well. So this is an improvement of health, really, if you're going through those kinds of issues. Uh, but also, uh, you know, you could be dealing with some family matters as well. Uh, that's going down. Now, it looks like you're putting endings to situations. So it looks like you're walking away, uh, putting a rest to anything uh, that is not working out for you. You've even got that bride card over here. There could be some legal issues that you're dealing with on the home front as well. And it looks like you're, you're ending that situation and walking away from it as well. You've got that king of spades over there, which signifies the uh, king of swords. So, so, you know, legal endings coming back. And, you know, that coffin card over there showing that there's been a lot of dispute and fight going on uh, on that, uh, maybe on the personal front, on the home front. And it looks like you know, you're laying that to rest. Now, in the past, you've got that tower here. This is about, you know, tens. is about having a lot of responsibilities and burdens with that ten of clubs. Uh, and, you know, feeling very lonely, feeling very isolated. But that cycle is now coming to an end. It looks like whatever role you're taking on now is going to be one of leadership. And this has, been, this has started recently. And you're taking control of that situation and making a brand new start, really. And going into the future, it looks like new money coming in as well. You've got the Ace of Diamonds over there. There's going to be a lot of communication uh, for you. Uh, maybe some travel coming in also with those birds there. And it looks like luck is changing there. So, uh, you know, where you've been going through a lot of anxiety and stress, it looks like, you know, things are going to improve. You've got that roses, uh, those roses emerging. Even though there's thorns, it looks like things are going to start uh, looking up for you. And there's also an improvement of health there if that's what you're going through. <coughs> so, I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Tarot of Fate. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the Ace of Stones, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about brand new money coming in, maybe a new job offer coming in, uh, something good that's going to bring in a lot of stability, um, and it's going to bring in the money as well. Uh, so I need for you to also do research. You're probably getting some news as well about this, maybe a new job, even a new promotion. It's definitely going to improve your finances, whatever it is that is coming in. And you can see you've got that King of Pentacles over there, and it is crossed by the Nine of Spears. So you need to hang in there and maybe look for a different solution to your particular problem. You can see this man's got this metal hand over there that's been given to him. So some help is going to be given to you, uh, but you also need to look for an alternative solution to whatever problems you are facing. And, and just uh, stand your ground, defend yourself, and keep going, really. It's a card of res resilience. So you need to just really, uh, you know, uh, don't give up. And it looks like if you don't, uh, the money will come in for you. You've got that King of Pentacles. It is the major, major money card in the deck. So, uh, you know, this is about wealth coming in for you. And it's also getting some kind of leadership position. So if you're waiting for some kind of promotion, it looks like that is going to be coming in with that Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Stones and the King of Stones bringing in the money as well. So just hang in there. Now, you've got the seven of stones, so some kind of something happened. Uh, you know, you didn't foresee the consequences, and you had some loss that happened as well. You can see this man's thrown a stone, and it's killed the fairy. So it looks like maybe, uh, you know, you did some kind of project, and there was a loss, and, you know, now you're having to take responsibility for it. You were waiting for uh, some kind of financial uh, payoff, maybe, and maybe that has not come in for you. Now, you've got the Ace of Cauldrons there. So uh, there is a brand new offer that has, is on the table at this particular moment. And uh, with this um, Ace of Cauldrons, it's come in in this last few months. Uh, and, you know, it's something that uh, you've been waiting for. There might be some study attached to this particular job or enterprise. But whatever it is that you're starting or making this brand new start from is going to give you a lot of happiness. You've got that brand new sunrise over there. Now, what's in your mind? You've got the King of Spears, oh, sorry, the Knight of Spears over here. So maybe you're thinking of actually moving on to another country or relocating uh, to do a job somewhere else. And maybe this is that new offer that is coming in for you. Uh, you needing to move away from this old uh, job to go and start something brand new somewhere else. 
now you've got going into the future you've got that king of spears over here so uh, you know you need to focus on this new project it is a leadership role that you will be taking uh, and you know it's going to give you back the power in your hands again and this might also involve a lot of travel a lot of communication with a lot of foreign people as well with that king of spears so you've got the full card over here, brand new beginnings starting for you. So it looks like you're going to be accepting this new opportunity. It is going to bring in money. It is something different from what you've been doing. You can see and you are waiting for, for it to come in. And it looks like you will be making some brand uh, new beginnings. And also, you know, something that involves a lot of information, communication of that information, being in charge um, of a situation as well. But definitely, you know, some study or some further education involved as well. You could be a, even a mentor or a tra somebody who's training up people as well. Now you've got the, uh, pr uh, the high priestess over here this is saying, you know, just watch out who you trust with all your information. There also might be some information that has not come quite uh, to light yet and you do need to do some uh, research as well. Uh, and this could also be some new study coming in for you as well, especially with that Ace of Cauldrons, you know, it's talking about further study or information that needs to be researched as well. But make sure you're watching your back. Uh, you know, don't tell everybody what your plans are. So you're hoping for abundance to come in with that uh, three of empress, uh, three with the three and it's the empress card. So you want all your hard work to pay off. You're waiting to see the fruits of your labor, really. Now, the final outcome, you've got the lovers card over here. Um, you've got um, the five of swords over here and, um, you know, the eight of swords. So with the lover's card is uh, really you need to make that decision and you need to be quite alert when you make that decision. Make sure you're doing your research uh, with that lover's card. So there is a choice, something that you really do want to do. You are passionate about it, uh, but make sure you're researching it very thoroughly before you make this big decision because it's going to affect the rest of your life. You're still dealing with people around you that are instigating and causing problems. There's like a, some kind of power struggle that is going on over here and maybe people saying some nasty things about you. There looks to, looks to be, uh, you know, a lot of gossip maybe going on, uh, but it, it is a, there's a lot of conflict uh, going on and people not, um, you know, not acting very nicely to you. Like I said, they might be stirring up some, some problems, instigating issues. Now you've got that eight of so uh, eight of stones over here. So whatever job you're going to do, you're going to be very very busy very soon, and you're going to be specialising in whatever you're doing over there. So being an expert at what it is, there's learning as well. You'll be learning a lot as well on that job with the eight of uh, stones there. But you're very very good at what you do, and you can see this man has mastered the art of making shoes there. So you are mastering your craft really. And it is a position of leadership as well. Like I said, there might be a lot of travel uh, that comes in. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And that's for the Oracle read. Now you've got the Ten of Earth, which is the money coming in here. So a very happy family life, financial security, and finding the magic in the little things in life. So an ending of an old job, a beginning of a new job, and this new job brings in that financial security and stability for you with that Ten of Earth. And you've got the Sun card, which says a happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So it looks like there's going to be really positive changes coming in for you. Uh, lots of money, uh, lots of success coming in as well with that um, Sun sitting next to that Ten of Earth. And you've got the Queen of Fire over here. So stretch your wings and fly. Uh, fly. Don't underestimate your, uh, yourself and assert your independence and creativity. Now you've got that Queen of Fire there as well as the King of... Uh, spears which is the king of fire or the king of rods really so you being in control and in charge but with this queen of fire is being very diplomatic uh, and this could also be a lot of travel that is involved with your work um, and you need to act with confidence really here uh, it looks like you're on top of your game here and a lot of people are turning to you for advice and leadership as well so you are getting into that leadership role money is coming in with that king of pentacles um, and uh, it looks like whatever is going on is going to be quite successful. So even with that ten of earth, there's a lot of money that is going to be coming in. So quite a lot of success uh, going on over here. But you need to stand your ground uh, and make sure you're not giving up. Um, look for alternative uh, solutions to problems. And it looks like help will come in and allow you to reach uh, success. 
So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now.